In this lesson, we are going to learn another problem-solving strategy called guess and check. You pretty much guess what it is. Yes, we will guess the answer, and then we will check for its accuracy. Yes, why do we do that? Because sometimes there are just problems that we have totally no clue of how to begin with them. So it's okay to make a reasonable guess. We may not get the right answer in the first place, but we may get closer to the solution. So we just need to revise or refine until we guess it right. And the keyword here I want to emphasize is reasonable. Now let's use one example to see what I mean by that. Okay, fill in numbers one to six in the bubbles in the following uh, figure, so that the sum of each side is ten. So we're going to fill in six numbers in the six bubbles, and each side has the sum of ten. Now, if we are going to guess, and let's say we guess randomly, all right, I want to make one side equals to ten. Hmm, perhaps. I can do one plus three plus six, right? Because I know one plus three plus six equals to ten. So this is what I might do, and I'm just purely guessing randomly. And then I need to move on to the other two rows, and now I already have a six at the bottom. What should I fill in to make ten? Now I already used one and three. I can move on here. I can move、uh, at the bottom row because I need two numbers to add up to four, and I already run out of number. I can't do it, and I'm stuck. So I have to try again, and I get into that very quickly because I just randomly guess.、And、what if we guess reasonably? Okay, how do we guess reasonably? So let's go back. If you add up all six numbers. One through six. What you will get is okay. Let's see what we get. One plus two all the way to six will get you twenty-one. But if you add up all three sides, because each side is ten, you will get thirty. Thirty compared to twenty-one is nine more. Why is it nine more? Because the top, the bottom two. Corners, they are counted twice. That means these three corner bubbles, they add up to the extra nine. That's why we have thirty instead of twenty-one. Okay, that can help us to limit our guess. That is what I mean by reasonable guess. Okay, so now let's pick three numbers to go into the corners, such that they add up to nine. Okay, and then we can guess again. So perhaps I will guess one, and then how about two, and six. But very quickly, I see that at the bottom I have two and six. In order to make ten in the bottom, I need another two, but I can't because I already used the two. So I can quickly backtrack, and then let's try again. Maybe I will use one, three, five. To make up the nine at the corner bubbles, and then by doing that, I can quickly come up with the other numbers that I need to fill in in order to make ten for each row, and I see that it works. Now let's look at a very classic example using the four fours to make an expression, and this time we want to make an expression that is equal to ten. How do we do that? Okay, so we will have four fours. We want to get ten, so we need to add some operations to it. And how do we do it? So if we just guess randomly, perhaps this is what we might get.、Uh, let's say we just add them all up. But wait a minute, this is too big. This is sixteen, way too much than the ten. So、uh, perhaps we can refine、uh, our guess. And then, so let me change、uh, the numbers. And we still have four fours.、Uh, I think we can keep the first two fours because they add up to eight.、Um, maybe we'll just limit our focus on the last two fours to make the last two fours evaluate to two. 
see if we can do anything about that. So we can play around with it, try different operations, and perhaps eventually we will come up with something like this. Well, I noticed that square root of 4 is 2, and 4 minus 2 is 2. So now we have the first two fours that gives us 8, the last two fours that gives us 2. So all we need to do is simply uh, adding them up to get expression that is equal to 10. Now, of course, there are more than one ways to get to 10 using four fours. And uh, you can also try to use four fours to get to a different number. And believe it or not, uh, some big math fans, they are able to use four fours to make expressions that evaluate from 0 to 1,000. Some of them require high-level math. But for uh, smaller values, it is quite uh, doable. So give it a try. Try to use four fours to evaluate uh, to some different answers, such as like use four fours to make a 1, use four fours to make a 5, etc. So here are a couple of examples for you to try out using guess and check. Uh, some of the problems are similar to the ones that we just discussed. Uh, some of them are brand new, so give it a try, and then the answers are coming up next. Here are the possible answers to the problems, um, and I just want to add that. Um, for problem number three, if you just like keep adding uh, the numbers, you won't get to 100 because 1 plus 2 all the way to 9 will only get you 45. So you may be thinking that, okay, by adding, I don't get to 100. So I'm thinking of multiplication because multiplication can get the value bigger, faster. So if you keep thinking in that direction, you may eventually get to multiplying 8 and 9, which will get you a bigger number. And then, and then when you try guessing, adding the other ones, and try to add to the product of A and 9, and then you figure that, oh, actually that is 100. And one more thing, the answers provided here, that's just one of the possible answers. You can come up with something that's different from what I show you here, and that is quite all right. And I hope you enjoyed this lesson, so hope to see you again in my future lesson.